five to eight. Disruptive, damaging and downright annoying demonstrations have become the trademark of climate protesters, including Extinction Rebellion. Well, much of what they've been up to has been driving many of you absolutely potty, you know, whether it's shutting down four London bridges uh, to smashing office windows, damaging buildings, spraying them with paint, obviously gluing themselves pretty much to anything, uh, pathways, blocking people getting to work. But, remarkably, their New Year's resolution <laughs> is to put all of that on hold admitting very little has changed as a result of those tactics. Well, we're joined now by the group's media coordinator, Mar Ryan van der Geer. Thank you for coming in this morning. This is a very interesting story. Let me put it to you straight away that maybe what's happened here is you've been strong-armed into a change for tactics, because I'm just looking at my notes here. You've got seven ER activists currently looking at up to 18 months in jail for offences. Uh, they'll be sentenced on the 27th. And your founder, Roger Hallam, he's been, he's been in clink on remand since November, uh, accused of pl plotting to cause chaos on the M25. So the days of the police bringing you guys cups of tea and, and cake when you glue yourselves to the road seem to be over. Uh, they're playing hardball now. Is that what's changed things? Um, I don't think it's that that's changed um, our tactics. Um, uh, just to also clarify, um, Roger Hallam's in prison uh, for Just Stop Oil. Uh, so it's, there's a differentiation between the groups. I know it's all very it blurry. It's quite complicated. Yeah, it's, it's very a, complicated. A yes, I recognise. Well, let's, well, let's just simplify it then. Just Stop Oil and Insulate Britain are in what way related to Extinction Rebellion? Um, lots of people who started in Extinction Rebellion moved on to Insulate Britain. Including and Roger oil. Hallam. Including Roger right. Hallam. So yeah. there's a direct link. There, uh, absolutely, yeah. yeah. There's a direct a link, group, but we're, we're yeah. different groups. We have our own teams, we do our own thing, um, you know. Right. But you're yeah. interconnected. It, it is, there yeah. is a connection there, of course. Um, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, but so, anyway, you made that clear, but anyway, with, with all these people facing quite lengthy jail sentences now, yes. um, is that what's changed your, your policy? No, that's not what's changed. Um, what we've realised is that um, we think with the tactics we've been using, everybody who would be on board with what we're doing has now come on board. They've, they've uh, made that decision, yes, we're uh, committed to disruption, potentially being arrested, and all of that. Um, but we so need... you've got your troops. We've got our troops, but we need more people. We need the people who perhaps aren't comfortable getting arrested. Of course, um, you know, I'm speaking uh, as, a, as a white middle-class person in quite a privileged position. Hmm. My experience with arrest was fairly... Um, normal, you know, but there are people from other backgrounds who might have a very different experience and who have a very different association with getting arrested. They are, but with our tactics, automatically excluded from joining us on the streets. So basically, you, you think your actions are not just putting other people at risk, they're putting people at risk who are in the front line. You're asking people to do something which could well, we, we would damage never, them. Well, we would never ask people to do that if they're not comfortable with it. So mm. that stops them from being able to join us. If that, it's, it's, it, we almost... Um, I think it's an extremely important tactic, and there's a long history, of course, of arrest as mm. a form of protest. Mm -hmm. But we've realised now, we've got, especially because we have Just Stop Oil and Insulate Britain, who are the, the more radical flank, so to speak, we've now come to this decision that if we want everyone to stand with us and feel they're safe to do so, mm. we need to um, experiment right. and see that Is if we factor. have this... Is another factor in, in the, this complete change of tactics, um, moving away from gluing yourselves to things and all the rest of it and spraying paint, is another factor that basically it's it's not got public support. Yeah. Your cause has got a lot of public support. Yes. Many of us, myself included, are, are passionate about global warming and believe we have to get off fossil fuels as quickly as possible. Yeah. But the tactics that you're employing have alienated the public. So is it a response to that as well? It is very much a response to that, yeah. We've we've listened to the public. They, they say over and over again, we support what you stand for, we don't like how you do it. Mm. So we've said, OK, right, for these 100 days, so from the 11th of uh, January, it's our 100 100 days campaign up to the 21st of April, which is the big one, which is where we're asking everyone to come and stand and be at Parliament. You want 100,000 people, don't you? Well, yes. <laughs> So, so that doesn't have to be people who said, okay, OK, I am now XR. It can be everyone who's concerned, everyone who cares about this, yeah. everyone who wants this change. Because when we say change hasn't happened, obviously a lot of change has happened. Yeah, can I take you back to um, a couple of years ago here on this programme? 
We spoke to a representative of Extinction Rebellion who called himself Mr Broccoli. Yes. <laughs> um, I'm not sure why it's taken you so long to work out that this doesn't work. Let's have a look. Oh, what are you doing there? Sorry, I, I've just got a call. That's oh, the wrong way up. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. You're not really helping the argument, no, are no, you? No. I mean... The trouble is, Mr Broccoli, when you come on... That was my friend, Mr. Sorry. Had you sorry. made a very coherent, powerful, science-based argument... Which you could have even done if you, you talked about the amount of methane, that? for had instance, Had you done that, that you'd have had real leads. impact. You've had a lot well, of animal attention. Animal agriculture does produce no, but you'd have had a lot of methane, attention, true. then, for through the way you've dressed up, for your cause. But to come on here and just be an idiot makes us think you're just an idiot. Oh, well, I do think you need to <clears throat> understand my client is just a broccoli. It's easy to, re really easy to cherry-pick the science. There's science that says okay. it's a good... All right. Yeah. Yep. Science that says it's a bad... He's not a broccoli, is he? He's a human being and dressed think, as a broccoli. And when you keep... Oh. Using... It wasn't a good look, was it? What's that about? Let's be honest. So, just, I, I know you're not going to like this answer because I know you think it's all connected, and it is all connected, but just to say that was an animal rebellion who are very much their own uh, thing as well. Um, connected to extinction uh, rebellion. Of course, it's all connected. You know, people have seen, okay, we're extinction rebellion, now we want to take it. You know, anim animal rebellion have a very specific. Um, ask as what, well, so they've spun earth, off. What purpose does that serve? Well, I mean, he obviously grabbed a lot of people's attention, but I have to say, we had our own XR spokespeople on this show. You know, we had Ski Now, we had, we've had lots of amazing people here who, who did have their point and did bring in the but facts. But you are and finally the... admitting I mean, that these tactics really don't work. No, we're not that admitting... That in that case, it's ridiculous. <laughs> and in the case of blocking access to London's bridges, which, you know, as we know, there are documented cases of people not being able to get to hospital, for instance, or to appointments or to cancer treatment, that actually you're just losing more people than you're gaining. And you've said the people that you're gaining, you believe you're putting at risk. I mean, when you say we quit, it's an acknowledgement of no, failure, it's, isn't it? No, it, it's not. So we're, we're definitely not putting people at risk who, you know, there's... Um, careful training. We have an amazing uh, legal team, all volunteers. We we would never put people at risk who don't want to. You've be at said risk. extinction. I mean, you're trying to make this quite convoluted argument that you're not that you don't have responsibility for someone who dresses up as a broccoli to appear on. Yeah, we television. don't. That's animal rebellion. But so it's all they part do, of the same. <laughs> connect, it's all part of the same network. Yeah. Extinction rebellion say we quit. You're not going to do any more of this direct action. Just stop oil and insulate Britain? Should they stop as well? No, absolutely not. And we haven't said that we're not going to do... Uh, that we're going to stop doing direct action. We're very much going to continue direct action, but we're targeting it now to the pillars of power. So we're so not going protest, to... you'll protest, but you won't glue yourself to trains? Uh, we won't inconvenience the general You wouldn't public. shut the M25 by climbing no, onto gantries? No, no, all that's, that's... All that's in the past. Well, but you're at, happy at least to just for... stop oil and insulate Britain to continue that, doing that? That's not up to me. That's up to them. That's their... You know, we obviously support what... I mean, we are in solidarity with what they do. Very quickly, one, one more quick factor involved here. We, we, we talked about the, the, the use of prison and, 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 and heavier sentencing and losing public uh, support. Um, it's not actually worked at all in terms of government's changing policy, has it? There hasn't been one tiny textual change in government that, policy. That's, so, I think the change has been... Emergency. We managed to pull in environmental and ecological emergencies. Yes, but the government well. hasn't hasn't acknowledged any of it. So um, no, and that's the problem, and that's why we cannot stop, and that's why if if uh, insulate Britain, ju just stop oil, carry on. Great, we are now going to do a hundred days experimenting of this. Don't forget, XR was completely founded on experimentation. We try something, does it work? Great, doesn't it work? Okay, we'll try something All right. else. All right. So um, uh, the next hundred days. Focusing on the pillars of power, not public disruption. We get it. Okay, we yep. watch. We'll watch with great and interest. And then we hope that on the twenty-first, anyone who cares about this, please come and be there. You don't have to be XR. It doesn't matter. Lots of other NGOs, right. other charities are going to be there. On that note, we have to end it. Thank okay, you very much. Thank no, you very thank much, you very much for having me. In. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it's uh, coming up to five past eight. So here's Laura with the weather. That warm feeling.